Now we are going to go through the installation sequence of MTI's Sure Cavity Drainage Plane behind cladding. We start with the L&R Weep Screed from MTI. The L&R Weep Screed is the only bottom termination on the market that actually weeps. While providing effective drainage capacity with large 1 inch slots placed frequently along the bottom edge, the 3.5 inch back flange is a flashing type of detail that covers up the construction joint created by the top of the foundation and the bottom of the rim joist plate. The L&R weep screed should be fastened so the bottom of the weep screed is 2 inches below the seam of the sheathing and the foundation. Next, install two layers of asphalt impregnated gray D construction paper or a WRB that is equivalent. Make sure the building paper is bottomed out in the L&R weep screed. For the drainage plane, we are using Sure Cavity from MTI. Sure Cavity comes in two thicknesses, 3 sixteenths of an inch and 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter drainage planes are code in Canada. In this video, we are using the 3 sixteenths inch Sure Cavity. Before applying the Sure Cavity to the wall, fold the 4 inch fabric skirt over the bottom edge of the Sure Cavity to act as a bug screen. Fasten the shirt cavity to the wall with staples, making sure the spun bond polypropylene fabric is facing the weather. The 4 inch fabric skirt of the following courses should overlap the top of the previous courses of shirt cavity. Overlapping the plastic corrugations is not necessary. Fasten the starter strip as to manufacturer specifications. Flush with the top of the front flange of the LNR weep screed. Hold the first course of cladding so the bottom edge of the cladding covers the bottom edge of the LNR weep screed. Fasten the cladding as to manufacturer specifications. Apply the rest of the cladding as to manufacturer specifications. One extra step and a little extra initial cost can save a lot of time and money when you consider what can happen if moisture, mold, and rot become an issue. Remember, drainable is sustainable.